We face Georgia. Sergeant Goose Stevens of the Whitfield County Sheriff's Office has pulled over a trucker for driving in the left-hand lane, a moving violation in the state of Georgia. How you doing, sir? All right, sir. Sergeant Stevens with the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. And I know why he pulled over. Yeah, I was in the third lane. This appears to be an open and shut case. Trucker William Hanna admits to breaking the law. But this is about to become one of the strangest traffic stops of all time. What you doing out there? That young fella in that pickup truck in front of me, he passed me, and as soon as he got in front of me, he slowed down. And so I went in the right-hand lane, and then he pulled in front of me again. And so I went in the center lane, and then I done what you saw. He was, you know they do it, never mind, I done it. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't have, but it, never mind. Having just pledged guilty to the infraction, William braces for the inevitable traffic ticket. But incredibly, Sergeant Stevens isn't writing one. I could tell that he didn't intend to do what he did, he just did it to, keep, to avoid an accident. So at that time, I decided to let him be the officer and I'd become the truck driver and ask him what he would do in a situation like that. Then that's where he went, basically downhill from there. Well, what do you think I ought to do to you? I don't know, you're the boss. Well, I'm gonna let you make the decision. Huh? William is confused. He knows he broke the law, but in his 30 years behind the wheel of a truck, he's never heard of a cop make an offer like this. I'm the truck driver, you're the police. I've just told you what you just told me. Well, I'd like to go on, but I know that ain't fair. I mean, I done it. You see me, I, well, hell, I, never mind. In a way, he was, he was just too honest for his own good. You're the police, I'm the truck driver now. You make the decision. Ball's in your court. Whatever you decide, what I'll, I'll agree with you. Never been put in a predicament like this, have you? No, sir. That's what? a first, and I ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> so what do you suggest? You the, you the police, I'm the truck driver. This I is a terrible situation. I feel guilty as sin. Sergeant Stevens can't believe his ears. William is practically begging him to write him a ticket. Well, at that time, I was still trying to be professional. I didn't want to laugh at the man. So I just kept on and kept on. So what you going to do? I am going to stand here and not believe what I'm hearing. What? what? I, 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 I'm going to say something. <laughs> I've never been in a situation. You're getting more fun out of this. I'm so frustrated. I feel like an old mate talking about sex. I've never had a hot kid. Eventually, William figures out that Sergeant Stevens is in a forgiving mood and that he won't be slapped with a fine. Have a good trip. Unless you want me to write you a ticket, I can write you a ticket. But I don't want to. And I'm going to get off this exit and go on. All right? God bless him, son. Thank you. <laughs> Sergeant Stevens never writes that ticket, and William Hanna keeps on trucking. To this day, he can't believe that the sergeant let him go. I didn't know what to say. Everybody likes to have the appropriate answer. But this is a little bit like standing in front of church with your fly down. You're, you just don't know what you're going to say to make it right. So what are you going to do? You're the police. I'm, 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 I'm. 